They told me boys don't cry or play with Barbies So my whole life I've tried my hardest To be the man that they wanted me to be Mind Meld Soul Meets AU Continuation Part 4 out of 4 Last for this mini series, not last for this AU I still wanna do them communicating during matches and stuff, you know But no promises Three times Shoya, one time K. Four, K's 18th birthday party. One thing K hated about his family is how his father never came home that frequently. People used to whisper behind his back about how his father brought women over to his house in Tokyo, but his mother just laughed at the accusations. What he wasn't told was that the said house in Tokyo was a fucking mansion and the women his father had reportedly brought home was just his mother in disguise, who was a famous model. Model! Even Akitaro was starstruck what his mother's career was. So, Baba, you're telling me that you thought this was your father's promotion, but it's your surprise birthday party? I didn't even know how the fuck my father got to invite almost all the teams we went up against. Please tell me you are the millionaire with a fiancé. I do not want to get an envelope to get away from you. <laughs> Baba, stop laughing. But sure, Baba. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Shoya stumped away to the restroom as Kay was forced to greet all the guests his father invited for him. Sikishima-kun. Sikishima? Sikishima, good eve. We brought you a gift that we thought you'd like. Suga has a very unique palette for alcohol. Hey! Senpai, thanks for coming. Although, honestly, I didn't even know there'd be a party on my birthday. In Tokyo. In another house that's apparently ours. So this is a surprise party? Yup, father wanted to make amends. And he thought, you know. Ooh, then we'll let you be with yourself so you can greet the others. Sorry for the bother? No, no, it's fine. Just a little startled. You're very responsible now, aren't you? Believe me, I have to be. You guys can go ahead. The reception is at the back. Just find Yamaguchi. Okay. Happy birthday, Sakishima. Thanks. Kay faced the door again and almost dropped the small smile he practiced. Hey, hey, hey! Suki, happy 18th, my man! Didn't thought you'd want an 18th birthday of all people. Sukishima-kun, happy birthday. Bokato, Koro, Kenma-san, Akashi-san, thanks for coming. I honestly did not know there'd be a party, so please help yourself with drinks and appetizers. Eh? Suki? This was supposed to be a surprise party? Bokoto-san, inside voice, please. Oh, sorry, but really? Yep. suki po, nice place. How much for the venue? Must be rich, rich to rent, hmm? Uh, well, father owns the place, so... Eh? You're like rich, rich? Eh? Suki is rich? Uh -huh -huh. Yeah, I guess I am. Anyway, the rest of the crew is inside. Find Yamaguchi and he'll help. Kenma and Akashi nodded to him. Kenma handing him a paper bag, then dragging Kuro off to follow Akashi. Psst. Bub? Your father found me sneaking in your room, and now he's showing me baby pics. K, you did not tell me. You look so fucking cute. Ah! Oh, shit. Now your dad's asking who's my soulmate. Should I tell? Bob. Oh my fucking god. Ah. Uh, yes, you can tell. I bet he already. He told me he already knew since it'd be weird if I wasn't and I was in your room. He says to make you happy and me cry. Oh god, please don't. Kay, he's so sweet and now he's giving me a tissue. Because I cried. Ah. Fuck, I probably look so ugly and your dad is so patient. Baba, you're not ugly, I swear on it. Can you please tell him not to hug you and get you food? He says you're pushy, but he's now leading me to the reception. Oh, thank God. I just greeted the rest of Nekoma and Fukurodani. Eh? Is Bukuto-san and Kenma here? Already at the back. Eee! I wanna go, but it'd be very disrespectful. Just excuse yourself, he'll understand. He let me go, he... I'll be going now. Bye, Baba. Bye, Bob. Have fun. Not too much. I. Oh, e Kay chuckled at his boyfriend, who was now choppy from exceeding the distance limit for speaking with your soulmate. 
He was suddenly engulfed in a hug and was released to see his mother smiling at him. My baby is now so handsome! Mom, hi. How was your day? Absolutely fine. And you? I do hope Suzume that didn't force you into dressing up. Not really. It was fine. Oh, good. Don't want to fire another assistant. Well, come on now. I'm the last to arrive, am I not? Kyoko linked arms and dragged Kei to the backyard that was landscaped so beautifully and dropped him on the makeshift stage with a microphone. Uh... The buzzing stopped as they realized Kei had joined the party. Bob, where are you at? Dessert table! Kei, you gotta hook me up with the chocolate guy! At least try to be present on my birthday. I am, I am! So like, I've greeted you in front? I did not know there was a party for my birthday. You guys were invited by my family because father wants to make amends with me. Guilty as charged. Oh great, he has his own microphone. <laughs> the area collectively chuckled with Kay and his mother spoke up afterwards, taking the microphone from her husband. So we're here to celebrate my youngest 18th birthday and honestly, we just want to drink now. False charges. Is it Kay? I know my secret alcohol sash has been tampered with. Uh-oh. Busted. The team shared another round of chuckles as Kay looked a lot less guilty than he acted. Oh, it's fine. The family likes to drink. Kia took the microphone from his wife and waved his hands to the waiters. First things first, presents, and since I wanted to make amends like you said, I hope this present is... Will somehow make you like me. Kay rolled his eyes at his dad. He'd already forgiven him for the lack of parental symbol in his childhood, but he let him have his moment. His mouth dropped open at the encased dinosaur skeleton that was wheeled into the massive backyard. No fucking way. Dad, no shit. Are you for real? Shit. Oh my god. Dad, you're not serious. Well, we could always return that to whichever museum I stole that from, if you want. Dad, stop it! Bubba, you look so cute! Bubba, shut the fuck up and let me breathe here. Hey! Oh shit, Kay! Hey, you! I what? Kay glanced to Shoyu and suddenly felt all eyes on him. What? You- Suki, you didn't tell me you met your soulmate! Traitor! Oh, shit, did I? Yes, you did, and I'm surprised you two are actually hiding your relationship. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You mean to tell me that my baby brother already met his soulmate? Akini, he didn't even tell me! Me! Yamaguchi, chill, you've already met him. Him? You said you were straight, traitor! Karasuno Nekoma Fukurani Dateko and Oba Jose fell into silence as Kay fought to maintain his poker face. Uh, wait, shit. The teams looked at him in disbelief and amusement while his family looked at him fondly before he caught his breath. Wanna come over and introduce yourself, Baba? The entirety of the party who was drinking spit out their drink and choked on air at the fondness in Kay's voice. Who the fuck was this and where the fuck was that annoying middle blocker was everyone's thoughts what the f no they're gonna ask me so many questions ah you said you'd let me prepare apparently he'd rather shout in my head at me than to introduce himself so maybe that's a no oi i didn't say no asshole no wait shit ah Every pair of eyes snapped to the dessert table and Shoyu looked like he was a deer caught in headlights. Meet my boyfriend, everyone. Kay! Shoyu hung his head back and groaned before making his way over to the stage. Kay signed for a waiter for a tissue as his boyfriend took his microphone. Hey! You guys know me and him and we're dating and yeah. Happy birthday, Baba! Thank you. Bub, now face here. Kay, with tissue in hand, wiped the chocolate on the corners of his boyfriend's mouth and gave him a peck. Kay! What? The birthday boy can't get his birthday kiss? I do hope there's birthdays. Shut up! Alright, alright. Didn't even say anything. You. 
You already know you'll have it anyway. Oh, how sweet. Can you two please not flirt in front of us? Still shocked at the moment. Oh, shut up, Yamaguchi. Sorry, not sorry. Let's just say chaos was the theme of Kei's party since every team was fighting to ask whether Shoyu was being taken care of. Ouch. What a way to greet him a happy birthday. And 